crews behind the TV show The Walking Dead are some of the biggest fans of horror and sci-fi films out there. Not to mention, most of them have worked on iconic horror films that have been released over the last 30 years. Led by makeup special effects guru Greg Nicotero, they have created props and makeup for over a hundred Hollywood films. Throughout the show, Nicotero has hidden numerous easter eggs referencing his favorite horror films and more. Remember to like our video to let us know if we reveal any easter eggs from films that you love. Here is Screen Rant's list of 10 awesome easter eggs hidden in The Walking Dead. The show's titles. As each season passes, the walkers become more and more decayed, showing the audience that time has passed. Another way the show does this is with the opening title card. Each season, the title becomes a little more decayed, with added blood and grunge. It's a nice reminder of how the world has gone to hell, and there seems to be no turning back. If the show were to run for another 20 years, there may be no letters left. Swamp Thing Wes Craven's 1982 film Swamp Thing is based off a comic book created by Len Wein and Bernie Wrightson. Executive producer Greg Nicotero is a fan of Wrightson and wanted to pay tribute to him ever since season 1, but never found the opportunity. In season 6, he got his chance, when Daryl is attacked by a zombie. Nicotero did the makeup himself on this one, so he could base the design off of DC's Swamp Thing. He's not the prettiest zombie, but he is cool. Death Star Library Academy Award-winning special effects genius Joe Viscasil has worked on such films as Independence Day, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and even alongside Nicotero in Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. He is also responsible for the explosion of the Death Star in Star Wars A New Hope. After his death, Nicotero wanted to pay tribute to his friend, and made a library called Viscasil Public Library. It's a sweet sentiment from a show with a lot of death. We just wish it exploded like the Death Star, just for fun. How do you help you want? X-Files Cigarettes In Season 5, as Daryl and Carol go searching for Beth in Atlanta, they stumble upon an abandoned building. While they go through the building looking for supplies, they find a carton of cigarettes with a familiar brand name. The carton is named after the fictional brand of cigarettes Morley that were smoked by the smoking man from the sci-fi series The X-Files. Are the worlds of X-Files and The Walking Dead one, or is this just homage to the 1990s show? You shot at me. I fed you. Please don't hurt her. Save the Turtles Laugh out loud moments are not what The Walking Dead is known for. We may get a chuckle here and there, but that's about it when it comes to comedy. So when Eastman is training Morgan with a staff, it's surprising to see him wearing a t-shirt that says Save Terrapins. Then, right above those words is a picture of a turtle. This is only funny because two episodes earlier, Enid had eaten a turtle as a snack. Dare we say, this joke could leave a bad taste in audiences' mouths. You need to stay focused. Make sure you got a round in the chamber and you saved the up. General Custer's Last Flight General Custer is famous for his last stand at the Battle of Little Bighorn, where he lost his life fighting against Native Americans. In the first episode of The Walking Dead, Rick woke up in a hospital to a zombie apocalyptic world. When he walked out of the hospital, he found a military helicopter with the insignia of the 7th Cavalry on it. This is referencing the 7th Cavalry of General Custer, that was slaughtered along with him on that memorable day. An Easter egg reminder that history always repeats itself. We're the same! Creepshow Crate With the premiere of Season 5, the survivors had to escape from Terminus to keep on surviving. As they fight their way out, they pass by a crate that has the writing, Ship to Horlicks University via Julia Carpenter. This is a reference to Stephen King's short novel that was made into a segment for Creepshow. Since executive producer Greg Nicotero owns one of the three original crate props made for Creepshow, he added this reference. Luckily, his cast never opened the crate. Because the Lord abhors violence. Biblical Verses When we first see Father Gabriel being saved on a rock, we are surprised to find out he's a man of the cloth. Not to mention how clean his collar looks. When Rick makes his way into Father Gabriel's church, we see a list of scriptures on the wall. Romans 6-4, Ezekiel 37-7, and more. What these all have in common is that they all reference life after death, or eluding death. Very appropriate for a world that has the dead coming back to life. What have you done? Ben Gardner from Jaws The governor was one of those characters that you love to hate, but there is no denying that there was something wrong with him. Not only did he keep his zombie daughter around, he also kept the fish tanks filled with zombie heads. So how did Ben Gardner from Jaws arrive there? Last time we saw his head, it was on the bottom of the ocean after failing to kill the infamous shark. The crew states that it was just another prop of one of their favorite films. Little bitch broke my nose. Aged Johnny Depp 
Here's another head for you. The Hilltop group and Rick's team needed to find a head that looked like Gregory to trick the saviors and infiltrate their base. They lined up a group of heads on the floor, and as they look them over, we see that one is made up to look like an older Johnny Depp. Greg Nicotero had a cast of Depp from a previous film, and decided to use it again. Ironically, the head that was used is from a cast of Nicotero's head. Maybe he's hoping he looks like Depp. What do you think of our video? Did we skip over any of your favorite Easter eggs from The Walking Dead? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos. Thanks for watching.